Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 3, where we're stuck with the very annoying mirror. You are not my master. Look, mirror! If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Look, mirror! I respect great devices and everything, but if you don't open up, I'll smash you to pieces! Bad luck be damned! Yeah. Ooh. Wait, Tomaturgy, and we get guidance from Shadowheart. Let's go! Nine, that should be probably be enough to make this. No, it's not! We'll use inspiration. Twelve, that should be enough! There is a pause as those glass eyes take you in. Then... Well, thank you! Like a well-guarded laboratory. What were they hiding down here? Sometimes you just gotta smack the, smack the device to uh, have it to work. It works the same with uh, lots of devices. You just smack it a bit and then it works again. Alright, so... I'm just turning the lights on a bit. I'll try to. Ooh, crystals! So we have some sort of ancient skeleton here. Looks dinosaur even. Dinosaurs are a thing in Forgotten Realms, so we could run into them, I guess. Oh yeah, they have more bones. They didn't put them right together. Oh, and above here. Looks maybe some like some kind of whale. Whale or dragon, I don't know. Alright, what do we have here? Experimentation table. Raise that, failed, gone, body just to compose. Running the animation, failed, became the as a ghoul, had to kill it again. Speak with that. Failed. Answers unhelpful. Clone. Failed. Need living tissue. Reanimation plus clone. Failed. Had to kill both ghouls. <laughs> resurrection. Failed. Why? Magical curse? True resurrection. That's a very high level sir, magic. I've reached my limit of my skill and resources. The book offers help. I dare I accept it. Who or what is so important to be resurrected? That I wonder. All right, let's explore further. So they were very, uh, very important to get someone resurrected, it seems. Ooh, this is actually Gonda text about Gonda and stuff. We should take this with you. Supposed to seek the science, we believing that artifice of the High House would not stoop to publish this volume outside the great Gondian journal, so diligently, so diligently guard. But don't forget, I am not so grand. Before I lend my name and knowledge to the High House of Wonders and all the marvels therein, I was not but a lazy farm girl who liked to look up. And that is how I first saw them. The slow, serene earth modes. Yeah, those were a thing in 4th uh, edition uh, Forgotten Realms. They were like floating islands that were, yeah floating in the sky above. It was later I learned of their origins, of an ancient Japanese empire that fashioned them, of the residual magic so potent it sustained them still. That I didn't know. The Wizards of Netheril got marvels out of the mundane and lifted the earth aloft for the industry. It was later skill, still after I learned my place in the High House, that I learned of the long shadow Netheril cast and the evolution of our craft. That their great flying cities fell to folly and flames does not diminish the wonders that they wrought, and the stubborn aversion of studying them to learning what can be learned is the very antithesis of Khan's teaching. Yes, many catastrophes were inflicted upon the centuries born of the meddling of the Netherese seed. Yes, there are shining bastions that fell into shadows, their lore twisted by Shah to Shah's dark and destructive design. And yes, I say again, the High House will sanction it or no to study the very flames of creation is worth it, even if the very fires consumes us. I will pick take this book with us. 
Now, I did not know that the Earth modes would be related to the Netherese Flying Cities. I don't know about where that piece of lore was uh, established. Ooh, Braces of Defense. That's very good for Gale. That's uh, something Gale gets to wear. Evil Eye. I think it's just info about hags. On Death and Resurrection. Okay. Well, I don't know exactly what uh, this is from, but I don't think it's critical. We have some lights here that we could turn on, actually. Ah, here it is. Let there be light! Ink pot. Yeah, this mostly just seems like a study. Though we did get those cool braces. Watch how you go. Oh. It's a trap. Okay. Uh, we of course take guidance again. And let's go. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay, well, this is certainly a very protected area. Yeah, easy through. Well, first, let's uh, disarm this pressure plate. Not do the whole Indiana Jones thing. Only 10, so that's not that bad, actually. Bad roll, still enough. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. I wonder how there's enough room for pages with that sort of cover. How does it work? You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. I guess it's magic stuff. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Please don't open the creepy book. Well, no. Uh, I think I'll take this book with me. It's a valuable thing. Looks like a dress will be fun. I don't think we actually have to dissolve those traps with uh, the pressure plate that we disabled. Anything in this cocoons? No. Okay. Let's see. Scroll. Featherfall. Basilisk oil. Moonhaven lockbook. Ah, this is pretty much just if there are people hunting for this uh, Thean in hiding. You turn page after page with strange or chronicle sketches and formulae. Some are written plainly, some in ruined scripts you barely understand, you barely recognize. There are guides transmuting metals, recipes for weapons of war, but more than anything else, the book is concerned with the making of dead flesh. Well, we'll be taking this with us. That sounds like something we want to have. Yoink. And I think we've kind of explored this lab here. He rusted the key. Thank you very much. It's a very quiet basement. Uh, we are just exploring. Ah! And there was a hidden entrance here after all. Yeah, well. We're out now. I think we mostly research stuff. Um, I think it will be uh, Journal the Wizards of Waterdeep. Gail, do you have me to chat again? again? I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Already? Uh, 
Uh, we know it's going to get... Uh... Alright, let's see what we have! Okay, do we have anything that's fairly worthless? I think the Ring of Color Spray, it's not really something we're gonna be using that much. Yeah, I think we'll give him the Ring of Color Spray. There we go. Donate. Nothing else. Thank you. And do you have some kind of magical pacemaker or something? Are you like Carl? Like we should give you the infernal engine? It's a strange experience. Each time anew, I can Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Very poetic. This doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Are you gonna poop your ropes? What exactly is happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. You're not looking too good, Dargail. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble indeed. Okay, well, I think we need to go uh, back uh, to camp and rest up for a bit, see if we can uh, fix something stuff. Also, I'm sure we have, like, infernal metals. We should check our camp supply, see if we cannot deliver that for uh, Garlic's engine so she doesn't explode or something. Hello there, doggy. Let's have a talk, doggy. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'm sorry what happened about your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Oh! I will give you pets now! The party approves of petting the dog. Okay, no reply, okay. Okay, I need to look at our uh, sup camping supplies. Maybe I dumped the uh, infernal iron in here. No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Did we accidentally leave it behind? Or maybe I gave it to, uh, let's actually have a word. Uh, we can tell Shadowheart to kind of uh, not be in the party for a little bit. I could have sworn we have some infernal iron somewhere. Karlak's temper is a sight to behold. Yes! She'll need to be careful. That rage will burn her right out. Okay, that's great. Um... I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Oh, well, thank you. But we should journey separately for a little bit. If you're sure. Yep, I am pretty sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Oh, and she just gives the artifact to me. I would rather have that stay with her, but whatever. Okay, Lizelle. Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold. Hmm. Uh, you like that sort of thing. Well, come along and you'll see more. Done. Okay, did we actually stash... No. Soldier. Salutations. Alright, what now? I guess we just 
did not pick it up. Well, then before we go to sleep, we should go and uh, and gather it up. So we'll just leave. Actually, we can just go leave camp. That's much quicker. Tell me, Gail, what is your interest in the astral plane? Time, or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. Well, nearly it will be yes. My home Good. Soon enough. Should Vlack if will it? Okay, so we have been here before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because we already lit the uh, smithy uh, alight, so. I am not sure, because the uh, bits there should be, I guess. Infernal iron somewhere here. Maybe I forgot to pick it up in this one chest. Ah, okay. We just didn't open it, but there, there it is. And a magical, magical short sword. We might actually just use that ourselves, don't you know? Infernal metal. Yes. This can help Damon patch up my engine. Infernal metal. Yeah, metal. Uh, let us actually see if that sword is good though, because that is. Um, and we should give this to um, to Lizel actually. Assume nothing. Yeah. So Lizel, you now have a cool sword. Never a dull moment. A brace of defense should actually go to Gale. Gale is gonna stay without armor, so. That's a bit more AC. These things have stayed interesting. Um, let's see. So yeah, steel oxid. It's one d six plus three. Charm of us three. Light and finesse. That's pretty much this, except slightly better, and we can't throw it. Same as this, except better. Yeah, no, there's no reason to not take this over the main sword. There we go. Three to eight, and this is uh, four to nine. Yeah. This is as choppy, this has flourish. I think we'll actually use it like. Ah, I like having an axe to the side as well. It's cool. That looks cool. A bit barbarian y, Viking y. Yeah, okay, so we keep it like this. And yeah, we are a bit encumbered, but we should be able to deliver that uh, infernal iron right quick. Ooh, a maul. Oh no, that's a broom. Sure, you can that's fight with a broom as well. Be. Especially if you take the improvised weapon skills or something, but uh, we are not at that uh, level yet. It's quite literally, we haven't picked our first feats. Right? Yeah, now we're level 3. Level 4, we get our first feats. Prowess in battle is remarkable, as is your battle stance itself. Rathajak, a technique known to few outside Kalea. Okay. Shall I teach you? I'll pass. Thank you. I prefer abjuration over acrobatics. Yeah, he probably doesn't have uh, like the uh, you know fitness to handle such things. All right, so we go to the Emerald Grove real quick and get uh, someone to work on uh, Karlak's engine so she doesn't explode. Then we need to have someone to work on Gale's engine so he doesn't explode. And that is not a masturbation joke. Because if it were, then he'd be working out his engine would uh, make him explode. Especially if you work uh, his stick shift. I'll stop now. Thank you! Maybe 
number four, we can start. Well, we should actually inv first uh, investigate those rumors regarding Carla. Uh, no, what was her name? Woman that runs the uh, runs the Druid Grove right now. Car Carga. Okay. Go go. Maybe we should sell some things in here. It's good to have at least a plus one sword that should... Uh, I don't think we'll run into enemies here very soon yet that would have magical weapon resistance, but they are quite... Uh, at higher levels, there are quite a few Scouting that uh, have that. <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, We're exposed now. Hello, demon! How fast the search? I got the infernal iron you mentioned. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Yeah, she seems like she could do without it. Give me just a moment. to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That sounds like a challenge! That feels... good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... changeable. Okay, I Cheers, don't know about the heat. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now. But I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take All right, care, so Carl. we need to get you to Baldur's Gate. The next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Okay, so we're starting a collection. Oh, Who's gonna do that anyway? I like different metals. Uh, Carla, you have something to say, Karlak? Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Well, that's something. Well, we'll get you that infernal iron and give you more upgrades. I love upgrades. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Will you be uh, all right and just don't about burning or exploding things? Oh, fuck yes. I'm ready to burn all night. Speaking of, Ooh, exciting. I can eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? Yes, actually it is. Let us get back to camp. And have a rest then. See what pops up, as it were. Yes, we're gonna have a rest. Sadly, this was not at all enough to level up yet, which is what I would like most. Uh, let's have some words with Hey, Caroline. soldier. So, not only do you have this thing in your chest, but it's still burning up? That's the short of it. Bloody thing's been in overdrive since I left Avernus. Sounds like we all need to do is to fix your engine so it doesn't, you know, explode. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults... Frosty Pints. That Frosty Pint seems like a good idea for you. So do you and that Mizora woman know each other? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice. 
me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Hmm. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I can see why you were keen to escape, then. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Yeah, you should hear that, Raphael. He thinks everything is a stage show, apparently. And do you think they'll keep coming? I don't know. You'd think she'd have more important things to do. Devils and their pride. Anyways, other subject. So, speaking of this, what's your expert opinion on killing devils, especially Raphael? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's the about? thing with demons, yeah. So I'd like to hear how you ended up fighting in the Blood War. Why not? Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Pretty sure that's Our not the sleepy town I'm from Karlak, there. A knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for Very the easy in the outer city. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. Yeah, it's a name I she hear. This thing surprisingly frequently. Set me to work. But to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zarya. Who was that? Because I think they need to get their ass kicked. Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I like uh, inventor, I don't like politician. Everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Hmm. So yeah, this isn't exactly uh, where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Probably I'd be back home, not a care in the world. Oh, man. Lucky you. Yeah, That's I was dream. blacksmith. Selling Maybe lots of weapons. Maybe when this is all done, you can show me where you came from. My family home's long gone, but... I'll show you my favorite chow hall in the city, if it's still standing. Solid might be the same one, actually. Let's see, are there other choices, uh, chats we can have? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing here. Hey, Zell. I have something to say. Speak. Uh, you speak. Leave. Do need to organize to uh, reorganize our party, answer. Karlak's all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. Triad, I believe, is actually the god um, Torm, 
Tear. And Ilmater. Or Helm. I'm not entirely sure. But I think it's Storm Tear Ilmater. Or was it Tear Thunder Ilmater? I'd have to look it up. What the triad is uh, in, in, in Forgotten Realms DAT uh, guide. So, you're devil now? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But... I ah, so now you're ripped for a pleasure. Shit. Be my mirror. What do you see? Ah, I think, uh, hmm. Handsome devil, I disagree. Freak of, the, freak of nature, gods are hideous, no. Blade of frontiers, that's a non-answer. I'd say, a fiend who's been touched by the elves, I don't quite know what to make of it. Then, I'll fight ever harder. Be ever stronger. Till my deeds eclipse my appearance. The people will see... Good attitude! ...a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe, and one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Otherwise, not so much. You really should get out of this pact eventually. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Legalese, yes! Uh, this is a stupid comment. Uh, they can definitely do a lot worse. There must be some loophole in the contract that lets you get out of it. It could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. You know, my you should always get copies clear. of contracts, idiot. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. This sounds sexual. We can beat her if we put our worms together. <laughs> yes, what worms after all? Yeah, no. We can beat her if we, uh, put our worms together. We can. <laughs> yes. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. I wonder, I never checked in the stats, but if we got different status, uh, being devilish. Uh, we should probably also check in with Will. Or Gale, sorry. Sounds the same. How can I help? I am wondering about the condition. What does it require magic? Is he Think willing to tell you? Tribute. The kind a king might pay to a more powerful neighbor to avoid invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. I can assure you, the battlefield would extend well beyond the borders of my body alone. Hmm. You know what happens in those relationships, right? Usually they just keep asking more and more tribute. So they got all they want out of their tributary and then uh, they just take him over. Is that why the artifact did not work? Well, we'll probably take Will along uh, for the next trip, I think. Gail okay, at home for a bit, but for now, let us uh, have a rest. All right, so food. Uh, let's use some of these. Uh, oh wow, the haggis is lots of food. We should pick things that are heavy, but uh, do not necessarily give like a lot of stuff. 
like pork, sausages, and pigs' heads. some fish on here. I just need one that's tricky. Uh, let's just put something that gives five instead of four on here. Should have something. Six. Two. Wait a second, we can do the one of three, put the carrot on, or no, wait, the sausage, and then the grapes. There we go. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Um. Shit. Yeah, shit is the right word. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I I'm a deck you. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is—a vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. You know, I'm not sure why I'm surprised. Maybe I thought he just had reverse tusks like I do. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found a boar that you snacked on. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. Hmm. I think this we could, yes, this is fair to go mind delving here. But apparently it's quite easy. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His Hello. mind opens up, revealing like, cracked and quivering blood? memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. Hmm. He never struck me as a Nosferatu. You ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. You tried to bite me in my sleep. How can I trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. That's not trust. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Hmm. All right, but if you go too far, I'll drive a stake through your heart. I'm very good at that. Ah, of course. I shall be gentle as a babe. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? And if I turn into a vampire, I will uh, be. I will have epic super death tusks. So, don't do that. It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. 
God, what a service sort of party gonna think of me in this position. Hmm, does he have had enough? I think we're very wary here, so we'll just say that's enough! Apparently quite easy. Don't share oh, that feeling. I feel strong. I feel happy. I don't felt very, very unpleasant. Ah, don't be so dramatic. This is just a little transaction between friends. And look what you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. Hmm. I hope so. You better be good in a fight, like you said. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Please don't tell me I've constrained vampirism. Towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Oh God, I'm gonna wake up so hungover in the morning. <sighs> well, we definitely need to talk about this, Astarian. Good morning. How do you feel? My neck hurts! How do you think I feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Question, how can you stand in this nice bright morning sun when you are no, even if, if, if you said any type of vampire? Oh no, I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. That's very They've weird. They've changed the rules. Very weird. Standing in the sun, Wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. I am not sure. Uh, yeah, you can figure that out with someone else. And is this caused by the parasites? That seems weird. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. Cool, Azel! But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. Cool, Azel! Oh, and a quick word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Keep your distance. Also, I'm pretty sure the lady with the axe uh, probably doesn't don't like the vampire. Also, she's on fire, so there's not a good idea to bite. We need him, like it or not. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. We all have our shit to bear. As long as you remember your manners, Astarian, you're welcome at my fire. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Yeah, well, we will go um, probably the next episode and after I sold some of the stuff in our inventory again. So I will be doing that. And yeah, next time we'll have more adventures out there probably maybe go to the goblin camp or something because yeah i think we settled a lot of things so till the next episode bye bye